Tonight, a follow-up on one of our most clicked stories on WDTN.com. The Ohio State Highway Patrol tonight is clarifying what it said about a deadly accident Tuesday after viewers questioned a key part of this story. Yeah, we followed up based on your calls and emails, and we're learning that companies like Swift Transportation can limit their driver's speed. Two News reporter May Talavi live breaking down how and why trucking companies do that. Troopers at first told us the truck at fault was going 70 miles per hour. Tonight we're learning that was just an estimate. I spoke with someone who were a spokesperson for Swift Transportation. They tell me all of their trucks are topped out at 62 miles an hour. It's up to each company to decide whether they want to limit truck speeds. In this crash on I-70, Sergeant Jeff Kramer with the Ohio State Highway Patrol says the driver of the semi was not going over the speed limit. The driver crashed into the back end of a flatbed trailer and did not give himself enough time to slow down. Sergeant Kramer says if a truck is limited to a speed by its company, it would be nearly impossible to accelerate past that speed. If the, uh, the driver were to try to accelerate more or anything like that, it would, it would allow only to that set speed. And, you know, if that truck had that and it was 62 miles an hour, he would not be able to, without um, manipulating it or changing it, which would violate their policy and stuff like that. Swift Transportation declined to comment directly about that deadly accident. The crash report is not complete yet. When it is, we'll update you with an official cause. For now, live, Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.